let's look at this problem. We've got a car um, that is uh, going from A to C uh, eventually. Uh, it says the car decelerates uniformly along the curved road from 25 meters per second at A to 15 meters per second at C. Determine the acceleration at B. Okay, so I'm going from A to C, but I want to know the acceleration at point B. <clears throat> At point B, I notice that that's, you know, in a curved path. I'm given a radius of curvature at B. So if I want the acceleration at B, I need to think about both the tangential acceleration at B and the normal acceleration at B. And I know the normal acceleration anywhere, you know, normal acceleration is always V squared over rho. So uh, the I like to separate this, you know, into when I can into two uh, sort of one-dimensional problem. Here's my uh, usual speeding up or slowing down, and here's my v squared over rho. All right. Do you notice it says the car decelerates uniformly? Car decelerates uniformly. What is that telling me? That's telling me it has a constant acceleration. So I can use any of those constant acceleration equations. I it decelerates uniformly so the acceleration the tangential acceleration whether it's speeding up or slowing down the tangential acceleration anywhere between a to c is some constant value let me see if i can find that constant value i can use any of my three constant acceleration equations so let me kind of look at those and see what what do i know uh, what am i looking for so what if we look at this one? Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2A SF minus Si. All right. I know some initial velocity, 25 at A, and I know some final velocity, uh, 15 at C. And just a side note, you know, this doesn't have to, this doesn't always have to be the very, very, very beginning. This doesn't have to always be the very, very, very end. It just needs to be at two points. But I think in this case, we do know what's happening at the very beginning. We do know what's happening at the very end. Uh, so it ends with a velocity of 15 meters per second. It started with a velocity of 25 meters per second plus 2a. I don't know, but I do know this distance that it travels, that, that it actually goes, is from a to c is 300 meters so I know everything in that equation except for the acceleration so I would solve for this I would get acceleration of negative 0.667 meters per second squared so did that make sense that it was negative yeah I mean it said it was decelerating we started with 25 ended with 15 um, yeah so we've got a an acceleration of negative 0.667 meters per second squared that is just the tangential acceleration. That's not the total acceleration, but that is the acceleration at A, at B, at C, uh, everywhere on, on the path because it said it decelerated uniformly. Okay, so that is the acceleration um, everywhere. So, so if I want to know the acceleration at B, it has some tangential acceleration of 0.667. Uh, but what is its normal acceleration? I'm looking at B. What is its normal acceleration? It's V squared over rho. I know the rho is 300. But what is the velocity at B? I wasn't told the velocity at B. I was told the velocity at A. I was told the velocity at C. I need to find the velocity at B. So let me say first, let's calculate velocity at B. How could we do that? That's kind of back to a kind of back to a one-dimensional back to a one-dimensional problem. If I told you I started at 25 meters per second, I ended at 15 meters per second, but what was the velocity at some point B in between those, I can use some you know, I can use some equations. I can use my constant acceleration equations. 
I, I could use any of those three constant acceleration equations from A to B, from A to B. So now if we go back and we look at this equation, Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2Asf minus Si. Now that I know A, and I know the velocity that it started with, and I, I know what, what distance that it went if I'm going from A to B, now I can find the velocity final at B. All right, so velocity final squared equals velocity initial squared. Sorry, it started at 25 meters per second plus 2. And now I know the acceleration negative 0.667. And I know it's going a distance of 250, right? If we're only going from A to B, I'm only going a distance of 250. There, now I can solve for the velocity at B, 17.08 meters per second. So for velocity, 17.08 meters per second. So now I can find the normal acceleration. A normal, 17.08, right, V squared over rho, rho of 300. So this would be 0 0.972 meters per second. So now I have the normal acceleration and the tangential acceleration. What did the question ask for? Determine the acceleration. It, it, it doesn't say magnitude of the acceleration. So let's leave this as a vector. I'm going to say the acceleration would be, um, let's see, it was negative 0.667 in the tangential direction plus 0.972 in the normal direction. All the units were meters per second squared. Uh, so there is my acceleration. If it asked for the magnitude, I would square both of those and take the square root to find the magnitude of the acceleration. But there is um, what it asked for, the acceleration. So just don't forget, if it asks for acceleration, you obviously calculate the tangential acceleration, but also don't forget about the normal acceleration.